So in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to shell out an object um, in two different steps, so two different ways. So the first way uh, is if you're making like an open box or something like that. So if I just... So I've got a, a solid box there, if we pan it around you can see completely solid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to modify and I'm going to click shell. Now it's going to ask me which face I want to shell, so I could shell any of these flat faces. I'm going to do the top. And then I'm going to determine the thickness of the wall. So I'm just going to drag it in. So at the moment that is one millimeter thick. And you can see already how it works. Obviously you can increase that. Now if you think about if you were making anything on 3D printer, really the thickness of the wall really would Maximum would be about two millimeters if you think about the kind of products that you would make it for small electricals. And if you were to pull apart a remote control, a mobile phone, a stereo, or anything like that, you'd find that the, the thickness of the wall would be about between one and two millimeters thick at maximum. So I'm just going to do one for now just to show and then press it's on the inside as well. Press OK and you can see how it has shelled out that shape. OK, now. It might be that you've already drawn your shape and you want to make it hollow on the inside but you want to be able to still see the top surface so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back time to that right so let's show you how to do that this is a bit more of a complex way of doing it now I always find it best to do all of the, the filleting of the outer shape before you hollow it out because the when you hollow it it will follow fill it rather than the way around. Obviously what we need to do is hollow it out from the inside but so that I've still got an outer casing all the way around. Okay because if I clicked on there and shelled it you can see because I've curved the edges it just doesn't like it. It won't let me do it. It's going to put with an error message in a minute. Okay so what I need to do is I basically need to split my design into two parts. You'll see at the moment it's all one body, body 9 there that I've got. It's all one body. I need to split it into two separate bodies. And the way to do that is to first determine where I want to split it by creating an offset plane. Okay, so a quick reminder on what the planes are. I just had that. These were your planes, the things we used to start our sketches on. So we're going to make a new one. Go to construct an offset plane. So at the moment it's there, obviously I want it in the middle. Let's just move that around. So you can see if I drag that orange bit down now, it's pretty much in the middle there. Now you can have it there, there, it doesn't matter. But for this purpose, this, I'm going to put it there in the middle. Okay, press OK. So now when I pan around, you can see that there. Where the orange box is, that's where it's going to split it eventually. Now, I'm going to go to modify and I want to split the body. Can I see that? There we go. So it's asking me which body I want to split. So I go over to my bodies tabs over here and it's body 9 that I want to split. Then it's going to ask me what splitting tool I want to use. So if I click select, now I'm going to select on that construction plane that I've just drawn and it puts a big red circle to show where it is going to split for you. Press OK. It is now split up into two bodies. You can see I've got body 9 and body 10. So now what I can be able to do is to see it from getting to it from the inside and hollow it out each half separately. So if I look at these two bodies and I for example if I hide body 10 it's just showing me the bottom half there now that construction plane I can, I can hide away now I might need it later but for now that's fine so if I click on that top surface there now and go to modify I'm going to shell that, that particular part at 1.5 you can see what it's done is it's shelled out so it's like a little bowl if I press OK, there we go. So 
that shelled out at 1.5. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring body 10 back. You can see, you can't see, but that bottom part is hollowed out. But if I was to hide body 9, I'm just going to look at body 10. You can see I need to shell that bit as well. I click there. I'm going to modify that. And I'm going to shell it again at 1.5. Oh, it's shelled out so it's hollow out on the inside there body 9 is also hollow like that the best way to show you this is if I can if now that I've got these two shelled out and separate bodies I can move it around if I right click on body 10 I go to move slash copy it brings this little box up here so what I can do is I can click on the arrow and just drag it up. I'm going to make a mental note of I have to drag that up 10 millimeters so I know where to drag it back down even afterwards. But you can see by doing that, if I look at it from the inside there, how it's now shelled on the inside when those two come together. And that's how you can make cold out objects.